Good morning. Welcome to Learn at Home with VIA. My name is Beth Bittler. And I'm Brandon Long. We are the third grade teachers at Carl G. Wren Elementary School in the East Lake Homing School District. Today we're going to enjoy a book about a little caterpillar with a big appetite. Our story today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Eric Carl. Last year, this book celebrated its 50th anniversary. Mr. Carl dedicated this book to his sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Did y'all see that right there? In the little moon shining down? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, oh, my favorite, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. What a big appetite. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of, so of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and last but not least, one piece of watermelon. And guess what? That night, he had a stomach ache. Have you ever eaten too much and ended up with a stomach ache? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a nice green leaf. You can see all the salts. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. I thought the caterpillar would never be full, but eating the right things helped him to grow into this beautiful butterfly. But eating the wrong things gave him a terrible stomach ache. You too can grow big and, and strong by making healthy choices. Now, let's go back and look at all those healthy choices he made. And while we do that, we're going to practice our numbers. So, on the first day, on Monday, do you remember? He ate one apple. Can you count with me? One. On the second day, he had two pears. One, two. You wanna count with me? One, two. Good job. On the third day, on Wednesday, he had three plums. One, two, three. Now let's count that together. Are you ready? One, two, three. On Thursday, he was still hungry, so he ate four strawberries. One, two, 
three, four. Let's count that together. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. So on Friday, he decided to try oranges and he ate five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count those together. One, two, three, four, five oranges, but he was still hungry. Hmm. Let's go back and take a look and count out how many pieces of fruit he ate all together. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pieces of fruit, but he was still hungry. We learned about a lot of good food choices today that the caterpillar made, but since he was still hungry, he ate some junk food and he ended up with a terrible stomach ache. Mr. Long and his daughters are going to tell you some more about some healthy choices that this very hungry caterpillar could have made with fruits and vegetables. Thank you, Mrs. Bettler. I'm going to stop my video here and get myself going. Okay, boys and girls. So we are going to, all right, we are going to talk about our ABCs um, with this story right now. I apologize. Um, and we're going to talk about the fruits that are next to me here in a minute. So here we go. So Mrs. Bittler talked today about our numbers. And today we're going to talk about our alphabet. Okay, so here we go. So we think about our alphabet, it goes from A to Z, okay? And, all right, so here we go. And it says, apple to zucchini, come take a look. Start eating your way through this alphabet book. So our first letter of the alphabet is A. And for those that remember what A looks like, here's our A, all right? Here's our A. Apricot, artichoke, an avocado, apple, and asparagus. So there are all of our A fruits and vegetables. Then for B, so after A we have B. So after, for B we have blueberry, Brussels sprouts, bean, beet, banana, and broccoli. For our next letter, the letter C, we have currant, corn, celery, cucumber, cabbage, carrot, cauliflower, and cherry. Under D, our next letter, we have a date. Under E, the next letter, we have eggplant and endive. Under F, we have fig. The letter G, our next letter in the alphabet, we have gooseberry and grapefruit and grapes. Under H, we have huckleberry. So we're up to H, think of our alphabet. Under I, we have Indian corn. Under J, we have jalapenos, they're a type of pepper. And then K, what my K, all right, so K is kumquat. L, we have, whoops, sorry, for L we have lemon, lettuce, and leeks and limes. That's a big page. For M, we have melon and mango. For N, we have nectarine. For O, 
we have okra and onion and orange. For pea, we have peach. So there's our pea. All right. Oh man, we have a lot of peas. Parsnip, potato, peppers, pumpkin. For Q, let me get my letter Q up. For Q, whoop, let me put that more correctly. For Q, we have quince. For R, we have rutabagas, radishes, raspberries, rhubarb. For S, we have spinach, starfruit, strawberries. For T, we have tangerine, turnips, tomatoes. For you, we have, it looks like it's pronounced ugly. So ugly, ugly fruit. For V, we have vegetable marrow. Okay, so we have vegetable marrow, we're almost done. For W, we have watermelon, watercress. For X, it looks like a watermelon because it's the Chinese word for watermelon, shigua. Y is yam, and Z is zucchini. To learn more about the fruits and vegetables, okay, you can just sing your ABC. So you learn vegetables from every letter of the alphabet. So Mrs. Biller talked to you today about your numbers, all the way up to 15, I heard her say, and we did our letters in eating the alphabet. So to show you how, what fruits and vegetables you might have in your house, we're gonna have my daughters come in. So I'm gonna have my two daughters come in here, please. They're coming right now. We're going to have them sit here and show us all our fruits and vegetables on the table, please. All right, slide over. All right, so this is my daughter, Iris, and this is my daughter, Evangeline. Okay, so we're going to talk about our colors now, boys and girls. So I have this other book called Yummy Colors. Okay, let's find out about yummy colors. All right, so we're going to talk about it like a rainbow. So our first color we have is red in our rainbow. So Iris, can you tell us what vegetables and fruits you have there that are the color red? Yes, so here, here's an apple. Yeah, and what color is the apple? Red. Red, very good. What else here's do we have red there? pepper. And then I think this is a little red tomato, and it is. Yeah, and what are these? Strawberries. Strawberries, very good. So red, that's our first color we have here. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to our next color, which is orange. So we did red, now we're gonna do orange. Evangeline, can you tell us what orange fruits and vegetables you so have? So I have here a cantaloupe. Yeah, and what color is inside the cantaloupe, Evangeline? Orange. Orange, very good, all right, keep going. I have some oranges, yeah. I have some carrots, and right. that's all I have for lunch. Awesome, so we have our red fruits and vegetables and our orange fruits and vegetables. And awesome, them. oh, let's talk about the next one, you gave it away. Our next one, boys and girls, is yellow, okay? So, can you show us what yellow you have there? This one's Inside. corn. Good, corn. What else do we have there, Iris? Another corn. Another corn, very good. And what's the other thing there? That's one of your favorite fruits. Go ahead. But bananas. Bananas. And that's really sour. What are they? Lemons for lemon juice. Lemons for lemon juice. And what's unique about lemons, boys and girls, is that the outside of the fruit is yellow and the inside when you cut it. And not all fruits are that way, and we're gonna show you that here in a few minutes. All right, Evangeline, can you move on? Let me show you our next color, okay? And our next color in my book is green. So if we take a look there, we have our green vegetables. So Evangeline, can you show us our green vegetables? Yep, what is that, Evangeline? This is an avocado. 
Good. And is it green on the inside and the outside? Um, yeah. In the inside, it's green, but on the outside, it's kind of purplish or blackish. You think? I think it looks pretty green. Okay, go ahead. What's your next? Green and I one? have a pear. A pear, very good. A piece, pieces of broccoli. Pieces of broccoli, very good. So that's our vegetable. And what else do you also, have there? I have a cucumber. A cucumber, very good. So again, boys and girls, we have our red fruits and vegetables, our orange fruits and vegetables, and yellow. Our yellow and our green. And our green. All right, Iris, so let's do the next color. So the next color, boys and girls, we have, and we could only find one of these when Mr. Long went, Mr. Long went to the store, and that's blue. All right, so Iris, I saw you just sneak one of those. Can you tell us what you have there? What's blue, kiddo? These are blueberries, because they're blue. They're blue, right, and you yeah. like blueberries, right? That's why they're called blueberries. Here's one. All right, good job. And you can pick those, actually, in the area normally in July. We, right. we picked them at our friend's house. Oh, okay, so let's keep going. So after our blue fruits and vegetables, we have purple. All right, and let's see what purple fruits and vegetables we have. So I will turn this a little bit for you, Evangeline. Go ahead, can you hold up from the bowl? What do we got there, Evangeline? We have got a, oops. That's okay. A, um. Bring it over here so they can see it closer. Eggplant. An eggplant, but and is the inside purple? No, it's um, greenish. Okay, hold it together. So that's a really big vegetable, boys and girls. Your mom and dads might use that to make different dishes. And then, Evangeline, show us the fruit that we cut apart earlier so they could see the outside and the inside. So here is a plum. Yeah. And here is the inside. Cool, yeah. Be careful, there's a pit. There's a pit. Hey, you don't want to hit your tooth on that. So we again have, thank you, Evangeline, we have our red fruits and vegetables. Our orange, yellow, and green, blue, blue and purple. Okay. okay, very good. All right, so what is your favorite fruits and vegetables, girls, from this table? What do you My like favorite most? is blueberries, carrots, cantaloupe. Wow, you like a lot of them. So, boys and girls, take a second, ask your mommies and daddies and what you like most of all. My favorite vegetables is lemons, bananas, corn, you like lots. and plum, and broccoli, and pear, and avocado, oh. and carrots, and okay. that. All right, girls, orange, well, thank you very much. I'm and actually... blueberries, and an apple, and some strawberries, and all some right, tomatoes, Iris, thank you. and a Okay, <laughs> so we're going to head back to Mrs. Bittler. We're going to finish our lesson, but thank you girls for stopping and showing us all of our things. So why don't you guys head that way, okay? All right, so let's head back to Mrs. Bittler and I both. All right. All right, hi, Mrs. Bittler. Hi, I hope everyone enjoyed learning about the very hungry caterpillar and how to make healthy choices with yeah. fruits and vegetables. And also, your first, the first 15 numbers and your alphabet. Yeah, Mrs. Miller, how about we review those numbers for a minute? Can you get that board up again? Yes. And numbers, and maybe we'll do our alphabet too. All right, great. So remember, that very hungry caterpillar ate a lot of different fruits. On Monday, he ate one apple. One. On Tuesday, it was two pears. Can you count with me? One, two. On Wednesday, it was three plums. One, two, three. Great job. On Thursday, he had four strawberries. That's my favorite day. Let's count those strawberries. One, two, three, four. And on Friday, he was still hungry and he had five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count again how many pieces of fruit that very hungry caterpillar ate all together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 
15 pieces of fruit. And like Mr. Long and his daughters are telling you, fruit comes in all different colors. We have red apples and green pears and blue plums, red strawberries, and oranges, of course, are orange. Thank you, Mrs. Biller. And let's review our alphabet again. So we're gonna pull up our reading the alphabet book and we're gonna just go through our alphabet one more time. So we're gonna do the, the song. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And what's really cool about all those fruits and vegetables is I never knew that you could find them in every letter in the alphabet. So next time you're at the grocery store with your parents or at a different store, look around, see if you can identify those letters of the alphabet as you do things. And like my daughter showed us a few minutes ago, think of that rainbow of colors. They always tell you you should have lots of different fruits and vegetables on your plate that are very different colors. Um, it makes you to make those healthy choices. Mrs. Bill, before we leave, maybe we should remind our friends what choices the Caterpillar made that were unhealthy towards the good end. idea, so we could make sure that we always make good choices. And these are fun to eat once in a while, but you don't want to eat all these at once. You had chocolate cake, an ice cream cone, a pickle, a slice of Swiss cheese, a slice of salami, a lollipop, some cherry pie, a sausage, a cupcake, and a piece of watermelon, which I think is pretty healthy, but after you've had all these, uh -huh. guess what he ended up with? A big stomach ache. Uh -huh. So boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us. And as you watch your program today, be thinking of those healthy choices because I know when I eat things that are unhealthy, I get a tummy ache. So you don't want to get that like a hungry caterpillar. So thank you, Mrs. Bittler, thank for you. joining us. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye.